One of the things that I enjoy most about attending aquarium conventions is purchasing new fish for the fish room. As discussed in last week's video, I attended the Two in the Zoo Aquarium Convention in Kalamazoo, Michigan, which was put on by the American Live Bear and American Killifish Associations. At that event, I was able to find some cool new fish for the fish room at the swap, as well as an auction that benefited the Gadead Working Group. So let's go ahead and jump into the fish barn and take a look at the new fish. The first fish I want to talk about is a fish that I picked up at the swap, and that's the 10 spot live bearer, or Chinesterodon demaculatus. In researching this fish, I was not able to find a ton of information, but I did find a little bit of info on fish base. This live bearer is pretty unique since it hails from South America and lower Uruguay and Argentina. In the wild, it's found at a pretty high pH range of 7.5 to 8.2 in fairly hard water. This fish also lives in some tropical temperatures from 62 to 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Males of the species will reach about an inch and a half long with females about an inch and three quarters. I currently have these fish in a 20 gallon high, which I feel is kind of a perfect size for this size of fish. My plan for these fish is to treat them much like a variatus platy and run them in an unheated tank and see if I can get a colony going. From a reproduction standpoint, I expect these fish to breed like any of the other Pacillid live bearers like your guppies and platies. As you can see, I did get a good group of individuals, so I'm off to a good start. As I learn more about this fish, I'll make sure to let you guys know what I learned. So let's talk about another fish that I picked up at the swap, and that's the Pocilia mexicana, or short fin molly. Thankfully, this fish had a lot more information. This fish is a wild type molly, which is found on the Atlantic Slope in Mexico, as well as Costa Rica and Honduras where it inhabits both brackish and freshwater environments. I actually have a location for this fish, and the fish that I purchased came from Tapajulapa, Tabasco, Mexico. This is a pretty decent sized molly, coming in at about four inches for the male and four and a half inches for the female. I currently have this group in with my Berlin black swordtails in a 37 gallon cube, but I do have plans on moving the swordtails to a larger tank over the summer. I really haven't had a lot of wild type mollies here in the fish room, so I'm really excited to get this fish going and see if I can build a nice colony. At the Gadea Working Group auction, I was able to pick up a couple of Gadea species as well. The first being the Alatoka Goslinii. Unfortunately, this fish is extinct in the wild. This species is found in a small stream called the Botero Grande stream, but unfortunately, this species was decimated due to pollution in the river, as well as the unnatural establishment of sore tails into the river. These fish will get to be about two inches long and enjoy a tank with some current as well as some hiding places for the young. I currently have these fish in a 20 gallon long, which again, I really do think is the perfect tank for them. I currently have four of these fish in a 20 gallon long, which I think is a great size tank for them. Obviously with its extinct status, this is a fish I really want to get going and help to preserve for generations to come. I also picked up another Alatoka species. That was the Alatoka Diazi. This fish is native to the Mexican state of Mikawakan in Mexico where it's found in the Lago de Pazcuaro drainage, as well as an old mill at the Molino de Couple Tepec. The group that I picked up are from the old mill at Molino de Couple Tepec. Like a lot of Gadea species, this species is considered critically endangered, so I'm really motivated to get this species breeding to help ensure its survival into the future. This fish will grow quite large, being about five inches long, and it's suggested that it likes swift current with plenty of hiding spaces much like the Alatoka ghost lineae that we spoke of earlier. I'm currently keeping these fish in a 40 breeder with no additional tank mates. While they're pretty small now, hopefully I can get these fish breeding into the near future and hopefully someday get some out to my fellow hobbyists. There was another fish that I was able to pick up at the auction as well that in the past has been a little bit of a nemesis for me, and that's the Xiphophorus zephidium. I've had this species before, but unfortunately lost them last summer due to an AC malfunction which caused the fish room to get too hot. Thankfully, I was able to find them again. I do have a location for these fish as well, El Molino de Capotepec, Rio San Antonio, which I do believe is the same area as the Alatoka Diazi that we spoke of earlier. I'm really looking forward to getting a colony established with these fish as well, and hopefully I can keep these fish long term this time. I really hope that you enjoyed taking a look at the new fish here in the fish barn. I'm really excited to have these fish and really hope to get them breeding sometime soon. 
If you missed my overview of the ALA AKA convention, I'll go ahead here and put a link to the video coming up at the end. So with that being said, stay safe, stay fishing, and I'll catch you on the next video.